So we're gonna do some basic uh, Travis picking and what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn three chord families. I'm gonna show you a very simple finger picking pattern but we're gonna apply it to three types of chords, uh, three families of chords. And then the good thing about this is that once you learn these families, you can learn different patterns and the same rules apply. By the end of this video, you'll be able to, to uh, do your basic Travis picking, country picking over three types of chord families, right? Uh, A root chords, I'm gonna call them. Chords like C, G over B, A minor, A, any sort of A root bar chords, you know, C major, C minor. Our second group will be D, ma D major and D minor, that's it. And our third group will be chords, E root chords like E minor, E, F, G, any sort of chords with, that have an important note on the low E string, right? Stop staring at your right hand. It, you don't need to look at it, right? This is the road, and the, the, this is the gas pedal and the brake pedal. Trust me, you'll be much better off. So, here's the pattern. Okay, it matters which fingers you use on your right hand. Your thumb is always going to be playing the A string and the D string with this family. The A string and the D string. Your pointer finger will play the G string. Your middle finger will play the B string, right? Three fingers, four strings. So I got A string with a thumb, the G string with my pointer finger, the D string now with my thumb, and my uh, middle finger on the B string. So sorry, it was A, G, D, B, and the string numbers are uh, 5, 3, 4, 2, 5, 3, 4, 2, make sense? So let's play together slow. Now what you can do is every other time you can omit the final note so it'll sound like this. I'm cutting out that last note, right? And if you're a beginner and your left hand is sore, just take off your left hand. Just like that. Okay. Now we're gonna apply it to like a really simple uh, thing like, uh, let's say, a landslide. So I got the chords are C, G over B. To play that chord, you just need your middle finger on the second fret of the A string, then A minor, and back to that G over B. So it'll sound like this. Right? So that's a really simple way of playing that song. And if that's too fast, I expect it to be too fast if you just started, what you should do is just try to go for one note of the next chord. For example, here's my C. Here comes G over B, right? I just want to get to that note. Don't worry about the rest. People get hung up and they're like, ah, just, just worry about this one note and then you'll add the next one after that. Go slow to a metronome if possible if that doesn't drive you crazy. Okay, now we're gonna learn the two uh, other chord families. For a D and D minor, it's gonna feel exactly the same. You just take your hand and go whoop. You're gonna play the top four strings. So now, you're going uh, four, two, three, one. That's the D string, the B string, G, and then high E string. Make sure you're using the right fingers. It's not gonna sound right if you don't use the right fingers. And that would also apply to D minor. So let's say you just have those two families right now. It's gonna be, you're gonna have to work on switching, right? Eventually, that, the goal is to be able to switch between these chords. And just the way we switch from C to G, we just worried about one note, I want you to focus on that when you go from like C to D. So you can go. Just get that first note. If the rest don't come, don't worry, because you're, you're just gonna be hard. And remember, don't look at your right hand. It's gonna be hard to get the hang of that. Just get this one, get that D in, in place. Okay. The third family. Now things are going to change a little bit. These are for chords uh, G, you know, D or F sharp, commonly F, E minor, E, any sort of E root bar chords like this, you know. Uh, your thumb is going to be going between the low E string and the D string. I'm skipping the A string. Right? 
Same pattern though, these fingers are not gonna move anywhere. They're gonna stay where they were on the original pattern. So the original pattern was this. Middle four strings, right? Now I'm replacing that A string with the low E string. It's a different type of chord and I'm going. So it should sound like that. So six, three, four, two. First step is learn landslide. Just get the hang of changing any sort of chords, right? Then worry about these different chord families. And you could take an easy example. You could take E minor and then A. And, you know, start with E minor. Here comes A. Just try to get that A, that thumb, in the right place without looking. Don't look at your right hand. It's not going to help you. Back to E minor, right? comes a D chord and if that's all you get that's fine get your thumb in the right place and also keep your hand close right some people try to try to like pick like this like they're reaching what I do is I, I check it out from here I keep my hand like I just close my fist and I just rest it on the guitar and then what I'm doing is like this I'm just reaching I'm just I'm just I'm just I'm not reaching I'm just I'm just squeezing so it's like it's like 